Hey, in this video we're going to jump into Fusion 360. I'm going to show you a trick I learned recently to take a 3D model and decimate it to look like a topographical map. And we're going to actually do this with a, uh, a skull. First, I uh, imported my skull into Fusion 360. And as you can see, it's very highly detailed. And if you were to try to cut this on a CNC machine, you'd have kind of a lot of difficulties with it. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually go into the cam environment and cut this model. So we're going to jump into cam and we're going to go to a new setup and I'm going to choose my model and go into stock and I don't want it to cut all the way through and I'll, you'll, you'll kind of see in a minute here so what I'm going to do is change this to fixed size box and change the offset to top and Let's make this height 75. It's going to give us an error, but uh, you can ignore that. Now we also have it, you can see it's kind of cutting it off really weird, so we need to change our orientation of this. So if we jump back into setup. Now we can go from model orientation to select axis. So I'm going to select that as my Z. And now we can go back into our stock. And actually I want this kind of at an angle. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back into my model and rotate this upwards, let's see about 30 degrees. And now let's see about how far I want to cut down. I think I'd like to go a little bit further. Now the th first thing I want to do is select a adaptive strategy for clearing this out. And I'm going to choose a quarter inch end mill and select my mod, the mesh as my model. We don't want to do model bottom, we want to change this to stock bottom. And that's going to put it at the bottom of that stock that we set earlier. And now here's where the magic comes in. Uh, we're going to change our maximum roughing step down and fine step down to 5 millimeters. And we'll do 4. And I'm going to change my optimal load to match something closer to the tool width. That way the, uh, the operation will run faster. So now that we have that done, all we have to do is hit OK. And it's going to generate a toolpath. It's going to take a little bit of time here because it's so um, there's so much going on here. But once this finishes, um, I'll show you how this effect is going to work. Okay, now we have our tool paths generated, and it kind of looks like a mess right now. What we're going to do is go to Simulate, and turn on our stock. Keep Tool and Tool Path turned off, just so you can see what's going on here. So, I'm just going to run the simulation here. So now we have our uh, finished, kind of decimated looking skull here that kind of reminds me of, topo of a topographical map. So now here's the, the main trick. If we right click on this model, we can go to Stock and Save Stock. Now we're going to save this as an STL file. So now that we have that STL file saved, we can close out of this and we can go back into Model and we're going to hide this original mesh body and insert a new mesh and we're going to select that uh, uh, stock left over from the uh, cam operations. And it looks kind of a mess right now. If you go ahead and click over here and do flat shaded, you can kind of see that stepping over look that we are trying to achieve. So now we can jump into our 3D slicer software to get a better look of, of what it's gonna come out like once it's been 3D printed. And I'm just going to scale this to fit my print, print bed and rotate it. But there's a good way for you to take a skull and turn it into like a topographical model looking thing. So um, I went ahead and printed one out and uh, have it right here. So I think it's a really cool um, Halloween decoration. It's kind of scary. 
Um, this one I actually painted with a uh, the world's blackest uh, commercially available paint. So um, I may do a video on that, talking about this paint at a, a later date. But um, I think that was a good uh, a good use for this black paint because it gives it a really unique look, um, kind of you know like a mountain skull mountain kind of thing. But uh, so hopefully you learned a thing or two in this video, and um, hopefully you give it a try. If not, I will actually put a link to this 3D model in the description below that you can go ahead and grab that. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.